With less than a week to go until the Melbourne Cup, time is running out for Caitlin Mallion to secure a ride in the Flemington field. But the rising star is holding out hope for a last-minute call-up from one of the racing's biggest names. She might be of a younger vintage, but Caitlin Mallion is no stranger to the big stage. It's just the crowd and the build-up to the Flemington Carnival is amazing and, yeah, I can't wait to get out there. And this year, the 23-year-old has combined with winemakers Samuel Wynn and Co, who will produce their very own drop from Flemington this spring carnival. I actually don't mind a red wine. I can't wait to get out to the marquees and, and have a taste after my rides. Malian hoping that will be a celebratory taste this Saturday and Silent Sedition could be the pick of the bunch for the Group 1 Maya Classic. I'm really confident that uh, she can run well and win. The rising star experienced her first Melbourne Cup in 2016 but is yet to secure a ride for this year's race, although one of racing's biggest names might still come calling. Yeah, Mr Williams, he's going to have plenty of runners in the Melbourne Cup, so... Fingers crossed um, I can hopefully ride one of them horses. Here at Werribee, trainers are putting the final preparations on as many as 13 internationals set to run in this year's Cup. But there's one man looking to create a special piece of history. Ian Jardine is the first ever Scottish trainer to have a runner in our big race. We've got a, a keen following back at home. You know, the country's behind us. Werribee's a long way from the rolling hills of Scotland, but Jardine believes $26 cup chance Nikita is worth the trip. The seven-year-old took out Europe's biggest handicap, the Ebor, in August. If we won this, you know, it would be it would mean everything to me. And if he does salute come next Tuesday... I'll have a good drink anyway. A nice Scottish whisky. Uh, I don't drink whisky. It'll be a Foster's or something like that. <laughs> Andrew McCormack, 7 News.